How sweet. Come on now. Oh, Come on man. now. Pimpin' ain't dead. <laughs> Listen, what'd you think of the Grammys? Man, I want to ask you first. Oh, uh, I mean, I've been, I've been said the Grammys were were culturally out of touch. I said that years ago. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I mean, they just historically the shit that's really popping. They haven't like, 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 like awarded. Like, I mean, come on, Tupac yep. and Biggie don't have Grammys. Snoop Dogg yeah. don't have a Grammy. Nas don't have a Grammy. Public Enemy don't have a Grammy. Like, uh, who gives a fuck? Like, I mean, I, I just felt like this year. They really got it wrong with album of the year, more so in past years. I mean, they got it wrong when they gave Macklemore his award um, over mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Mad City, I think it was. But I just felt like they really got it wrong because Beyonce Lemonade was such such a phenomenal body of work and it yeah. impacted the culture in such a way. And I think it's embarrassing for the person who actually won to go on stage and say no y'all got it wrong and not only say it on stage but said it in the back like Adele was like this was Beyonce's year she was like yo what does Beyonce have to do to win a Grammy like mm-hmm. for, for for the person that won to the, the continuously say y'all got it wrong the Grammy committee need to really rethink however it is they, they come up with who gets what Cause I really don't know how the Grammys work. I have no idea. I thought it was about record sales, but it's not about record sales. I don't know what it's about. I really don't. So I yeah. I, I, I just thought, I just really thought they dropped the ball. Like I literally stayed up thinking Beyonce is gonna win album of the year. I didn't know if she was gonna go up there. I wanted to see what she was gonna say about Hove. Cause mm-hmm. Hove Hove is the catalyst for this album. And then for you sure. got you got to think. Your, your girl win a Grammy because of your infidelity. She can't really oh, hold yeah. your. She can't hold your infidelity over your head no more, bro. <laughs> like, that's what it was. Like, I bet you that's what it was. The Grammy committee is a bunch of women who are like, nah, 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 nah. We're not gonna let cheating win this year. That, yeah, okay? I'm serious, man. And a lot, I know Beyonce had to do the you know writing that's not what and we're the, marching for. Yes, Beyonce had to do the writing and the singing and all that and go out there and perform it. But Hove is really the Jay-Z ghost rider to eliminate, do the fucking. bro. That's right. Yeah. Hove cheated for you to win album of the year. Come on, man. Honestly, bro, I'm not going to lie. If I was Hove, if I was Hove and Beyonce won that album of the year, I'd look right at her. I'd be like, you're welcome, boo. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome, all right? Because if, if I wasn't dropping dick off all over the country <laughs> with no. bitches with good uh, hair. Hove should have been like, look, hey, Sorry. I ain't sorry. <laughs> 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 uh, I, I, I will say though, you know, everybody, um, everybody was up in arms when Adele said the whole thing about uh, her black friends, which which didn't bother me because I mean, why are we getting mad at adjectives, man? Like if you, if, like I mean, your black friend, okay, she she specifically said my black friends. All right, cool. She got black friends. Great. What I didn't only, but I'm just thinking because. I'm just thinking always about great moments. I feel like she missed a moment. Like, she missed an opportunity to, like, really use her privilege to combat prejudice. Because if you're going to get on that stage and say, you know, your Beyonce's music makes my black friends want to stand up for themselves, if you're going to take it there, I thought it would have been dope for her to be like, yo, Beyonce's music makes me want to stand up for my black friends and women and... um you know, just makes me uh, realize that we need to stand up against the injustices that people are facing in America. Mm. I thought that would have been dope because Beyonce used her moment. Like when Beyonce won her award, yeah. she went up there and she gave her speech about, you know, equality and how she wants her kids to grow up in a place where, you know, everybody loves each other. Like she really used her speech to bring people together. Yeah. And you know, no, what I mean? no. and I thought Adele, I, I agree with you. I thought Adele could have did the same thing. I don't think, I think she missed the moment. Yeah. I think that, that, um, the way I interpreted it, and it, maybe it's different just because I'm interpreting it through white guy guy eyes, but the way I interpret it was like seeing her black friends, the way that they react to Beyonce, lets Adele know that they lead a different life than her, right? So it goes, while uh, while Adele loves Beyonce and she, she sees her as this amazing, powerful figure and loves her music, etc., seeing the reaction that her black friends have towards Beyonce lets her know, oh, shit. There's something that very different about my life that 
maybe these people are getting from Beyonce and and she is a, a you know a beacon of hope in some ways and a beacon of like power Adele and knows shows that, them though. that they can have it. I mean, what I'm at, saying look at the hello I'm video. Is maybe Adele but maybe Adele has more figures in her life that she can point to as as uh as as suggestions for that. I right? mean listen look at that I, I didn't see it I didn't see it as her like trying to ostracize her friends. I just saw it as her going has her recognizing the importance of Beyonce to women of color. No, and I, I, I agree that's with that. That's undeniable. I agree with that, but I feel like if you're up there, you know, talking about how much you love Beyonce, I want to know what does Beyonce make you feel? Does Beyonce didn't make she, like you said? Did she like, say that? Did not, she well, say yeah, that? she said she said she makes me and my friends feel good, and then she said you make my black friends feel like they they should they they should, they want to stand up for themselves, and I'm like, well, damn, Adele. It'd have been more powerful for the, and I, you know hindsight of twenty ten. It'd been more powerful to say Beyonce makes me want to stand up for women, for people mm. of color, for people facing injustice. Like I, I just think that would have been such a dope moment because one thing you never see, right? You never see a, a white person in a position of power get on those stages and like just denounce racism. Just be like, yo, racism is whack. Prejudice is whack. Why can't we all just get a fucking long? Now, you see people stand up for LGBT at these shows. You see people stand up for motherfucking women. You see them stand up for Muslims. You see them stand up for climate change. <laughs> like, like, so mm -hmm. why don't you ever see that when it comes to... I think to that you see that all the time with white people. I, I don't understand where you got that idea that there are white people that are not out there trying to stand no, up to racial I said, I, I specifically, to a, I, I specifically said, airport. I specifically said white people in positions of power. Those are the Justin ones that are... Timberlake. And, and then he then he, do, he does it and he gets destroyed for it. He it's tried. Like you're, dead if, you're dead if you do. You're dead if you don't. Nah, yeah, ju ju just, uh, Justin tried. I mean, I, I, I listen. I fuck with Justin. Justin tried. Justin, but he didn't really say anything. All he said was inspired by Jesse Williams. You know what I'm saying? Like, why we? Why is it always this coding? When it comes to certain shit, like just straight up say it. Same way we can say homophobia is whack. Same way we can say, you know, uh, 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 treating the environment bad is whack. Say racism I mean, is whack. Didn't Meryl, didn't Meryl Streep say that exactly on stage? Um, I don't, yeah. I don't know. What you, just, Meryl, you just not, know. you just not paying attention to white people. No, I'm, I pay attention to Meryl. I don't remember Meryl saying that. Let me look up Meryl's speech. She said it twice. She said it at the Golden Globes and then she just said it again. I think at like the SAG Awards or something. I know, I know Meryl spoke out against Trump. I don't know if it was necessarily out against racism. She spoke out against Trump and she spoke out against the racism that he projects. And then there was a bunch of people that accepted awards. There was a guy from Stranger Things, the, um, and uh, and he spoke out against it, et cetera. The reality is just nobody cares when people are doing good things. We only really care I, I, when I people are I, doing bad things. I, I don't. I don't believe that. I just I, if you I, listen, if you listen to the acceptance speeches in these last few award shows, there's always some white guy or white chick that is using it as a platform to speak out against it. But it doesn't make news because that's not sexy. What's sexy is Adele saying "black friends" and all of us going, "Well, see." Shit, look at we're back in the 1860s. Yeah, Mer it's fucking slavery time because Adele said black friends. Oh my god. Yeah, Meryl never said that. Meryl said, um, shit, I just had it right here. She absolutely did. Nah, she didn't. She didn't say that. Look right at the here. speech. I'm looking at it. She didn't say that. She said she she basically it was basically about bullying. That's what it basically was about. It was about bullying, how somebody shouldn't use their pulpit to bully. I mean, listen, what Meryl did was great as well. But I'm just saying, somebody should she go out. She did speak about racism. She did say She's, that. I, on, she spoke about track. discrimination, but I mean, that could be towards that, Mexicans, Muslims. I think somebody needs to address the black-white shit. I'm not even going to lie. I feel like nobody ever go, goes up on those stages and says, look, racism is motherfucking whack. Period. White people should not hate black people for the color of their skin. Black people should not hate white people for the color of their skin. Period. Like I haven't, I have yet to hear that. Like I saw somebody, uh, Michael Jackson's daughter went up there throwing her fist up, and which is great, talking about the Dakota Access Pipeline and you know resist and all this and that. Like I'm like, come on, man. Yeah, listen. Even with Tribe Called Quest's performance, I thought it was great, but I was like, why is there all this coding? Like Buster Rhymes was like President Agent Orange. And then at the end, Q-Tip was like, "All you bad folks, you must go." I'm like, "What does that? What does that even mean? <laughs> like, 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 why, like, why do I have to use uh, 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 comprehension skills? To, oh, I know, I know what he's talking about. Why not just say it? So why not just say, Donald Trump, you must go. How 
sweet 